Welcome to Photoshop in 5. I'm Bianca Ashley from Mashby Creative Studio. Today, you're going to learn how to make a custom mock-up in a few minutes. It's quick, easy, but also really effective. When presenting designs to a client, what I like to do and what other designers like to do is showcase their work on products that represent the company through mock-ups. It can really elevate the design in a way your client couldn't imagine. For example, a gelato shop would have a cup or cone as a product. I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a mock-up from it. Then later, we're going to add in collateral from the gelato brand I designed. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure we rename this layer. You can do this by double-clicking on the background layer. I'm going to rename it Gelato Cup. We want to do this quickly and easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a shape. You can do this by pressing U or selecting the rectangle tool. Make sure we have a bit of overlap on the top of the bottom of the gelato cut. Next, we're going to make sure the stroke is off and that we make the rectangle color as vibrant as possible. I like to use pink. This step is key. We're going to right click on the rectangle layer and make sure we convert it into a smart object. What this does is it allows us to click into the shape and whatever burn collateral we save to it will be applied to the cup. On the smart object we just made, we're going to rename it Edit Me. While we're in the Layers panel, we're going to change the opacity to 35-40% so we can see the layer underneath it. Next, we're going to use the Free Transform tool. Press Command T. After that, if you want to find the Warp option, that will be located on the top bar. After you click Warp, the Smart Object will have a mesh applied. This is one of my favorite tools because you'll be able to warp the Smart Object around the shape you want. In this instance, we're going to use the Custom Warp option to wrap around the cup. We're going to align it with the corners, but make sure you leave a bit of overlap. Then use the mesh to fit the cup. We're going to use the handles to make sure it fits on all sides. Use the zoom feature to your advantage so you can get the edges fitted. It's okay for things not to be perfect. We can fix that later on with other tools. Next, what I found works better is double-clicking the Edit New Layer. We're going to add in our brand collateral onto the shape, renaming any layers that need to be applied. After you're happy with the placement, we're going to apply it to the mock-up by pressing Command Save or going to File and Save. Now, if you go back to the main file, you're going to see your brand collateral added to it. But you'll see the placement is a bit wonky. The Photoshop is pretty forgiving, so we're going to fix that. We're going to go back to the free transform tool and use the warp feature to get the shape where it needs to be. This is why I said to leave some overlapping. Now, this will take some time to play around with, but it works seamlessly. Now, to get rid of the overlapping, we will go back to the layers panel and add a layer mask on the Edit Me layer to clean up the mock-up. After, click on the brush tool and zoom in and get rid of the overlapping. Now, let's add all the finishing touches. We're going to add back the opacity and play around with the blend modes. I usually stick to one blend mode when it comes to knockups. Go to the layer panel and click on the Edit Me layer. Place the blend mode to linear burn. Now, to make the mock-up look as realistic as possible, let's add in some lighting. To do that, double-click the Add Me layer. Make sure you don't double-click the Converse in our object layer. You're going to play around with the underlying layer. Press Option to slide the cursor to add in lighting. You can play around with the layers to add the perfect amount of line to your mock-up. Now, let's take a look at the before and the after. It's as easy as that. You've now learned how to make a mock-up from a basic photo. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing and apply these techniques to enhance your graphic design projects. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more helpful tutorials.